Hey y'all, so I was about to go ahead and take out my SD card and edit everything, but I decided I got enough energy. I could talk a little bit longer, a little bit longer. So while I could talk a little bit longer, I am going to go ahead and do this comparison real quick. I don't know measurements, so I will pop them on the screen, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this um, comparison video that I wanted to do. So this is the Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet on this side in the Damier Bean print with the red. And then this is the Coach Wynn wallet in, <laughs> in the um, rust um, color with the signature canvas. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this, um, you know, comparison and show you guys and I'll pop the measurements for everything up on the screen. As you can see, the Victorine is a little bit bigger. It's a little bit longer from left to right. Um, when you look at them this way, my, um, when while it does have my cards and stuff in it. So of course she looks a little bit fat, but when you look at it from the side, they are essentially the same. However, Coach is a one on point signature. I don't care what nobody say. They glaze and be on point. So the glazing is nice and thick and beautiful on my wind wallet. Whereas on the Victorine, it is very thin and it does start to peel and fray very soon. I mean, okay. I'm trying to figure out how to say this without offending anybody, but y'all know me. I just keep it 100. I don't feel like I wasted my money buying the Victorine wallet because I had dreams for my whole adult life to obtain the three signature prints, Damier Bean, Damier, Damier Azor, and the monogram. I wanted the bag, um, the Neverfull, the Speedy, and the Victorine wallet to match. I don't regret purchasing any of my Louis Vuitton items. However, I do feel that the quality does not match the price at all. These things tear down very fast. Um, the glazing does start to peel very fast and I'm not speaking from experience on my wallets. I don't stay in them long enough since I switch bags often. I don't stay in them long enough for mine to have any wear and tear, but I have seen enough reviews and videos on this after purchasing mine um, that show that they just don't hold up. And I have bought hubby two Louis Vuitton belts as well as a Louis Vuitton wallet and all three of those pieces are like missing glazing to be damned. I have tried to get him to come out and go in a coach piece and he just ain't having it y'all. He gonna ride it till the wheels fall off. But anyway, love my boo. So as you can see, they are essentially very compact and close in size, but the wind wallet does have a smaller footprint. Um, on the front, they both have that envelope closure this one has the coach logo on it this one has the snap button now this snap button is like a leather it's not like a brass or a hardware so it does peel i did put a matte sally hansen clear nail polish over all three of my buttons because i didn't want them to tarnish um, so that is covered. I've heard that that voids your warranty. I don't know how true that is. We will see when the time comes if I ever decide to get mine repaired. Um, if I do have wear that shows. On the back, they look like so. Um, I do see that this one has like a little bit of kind of denting and wrinkling. This is just because of the way that I have it stored in my drawer, which has hella wallets in it. And I have been thinking about getting rid of some of the um, brands that I've picked up recently that I'm just not so sure I'm going to, you know, keep in my collection forever. Whereas these are forever pieces. So anyway, on the back, you do see that it is smooth. Um, on this one, you do see that there is a zipper pocket and it is gusseted on one side, which is amazing. That makes for it having that space that is needed. When you do start racking up some coins in there, you have plenty of space in there and no worries of it not zipping or not holding properly. Um, let me see if I can angle this down a little bit more hopefully nobody gets dizzy this way i don't have to keep holding it up so far and if you've seen my sutton what's in my bag that's why my bag and contents are all over the place um in the victorine wallet the coin pouch is here when i first got mine i was using my round coin purse like crazy keeping my coins in that and so i didn't put coins in here this space can hold a card I've never tried to put a card in the zipper spot here on the wind wallet, but I don't think you could fit a card in here. Maybe like insurance cards or something. I don't know. Somebody comment down below and let my uh, viewers know if you can, but I bet you could. But anyway, um, I don't have a, a card that I can try out right now without showing my business. Um, but this one can hold cards. This is the zipper part. It does have a leather pull tab on it. The coach one has a coach hardware piece that says coach on it. And then it also has a leather pull tab. It's very substantial and thick. Um, when you un 
unzip it inside here you do have a wipeable lining like I said it's meant for coins but you can fit cards in there I have put multiple cards in here for storage and stored my coins elsewhere but I will say when you put coins in here this part does get pretty pregnant and when you have all of your cards in here and I don't normally double up I don't I don't know y'all just I'm weird I just don't normally if I can't fit all my cards in one I will have the rest of the cards in something else but when I just have my six cards in here a couple of cards behind each one as well as cash and then I put all my coins in here I can snap it with no problem but she looks extremely fat extremely pregnant the front coin part is extremely bulgy and so that's the reason why I said the win is just my favorite like she is just absolutely my favorite but I would never sell these I would never get rid of these I don't regret purchasing any of these um, it is still my favorite wallet with Louis Vuitton because it has all the compartments that I need but I have fallen in love with the smaller footprint of the win wallet I am not trying to persuade anybody to get either or but I did want to tell you guys my pros and my cons that I love about each of these wallets so that's the coin pouch um, in this one Nope, this one is not a wipeable lining. This one actually has that same soft sheen fabric that's inside of the bag. It, it doesn't bother me one bit. I don't I don't care if I can wipe it out or not. Wallets are meant to be used, and that's why I said this one's very pricey for the wear that can happen on it if you truly use it the way that it's intended. If you bought one wallet and use it all the time, it should not look run the, down if you spent X number of dollars on it. But anyway, moving on. So this one opens on the inside. This one opens on the inside. In the inside of the wind wallet, you have the same thing. They both open on the inside. This one has three card slots that go this way. This one has three on this side. So it can essentially hold six. If you're someone who doubles up, then it can hold 12. In here, you have the same thing. You have three and three. Excuse me, so sorry. <laughs> you have three and three. And again, if you want to double up, then you would be able to hold 12 instead of just six. This side does not open right here. The spot right here and that's one of the favorite things i love about the win is it does open right there let me move my health insurance cards it opens right there so you have a whole extra pocket where you could stash extra cash your emergency bills um you know bills as in like an emergency 20 or 50 or 100 or whatever you choose to carry like an emergency you know wad of cash you could put health insurance cards you could put your main card here if this is what you want i mean gift cards possibilities are in this endless so I love that little sneak pocket and I don't know if everyone's aware that that pocket is there but that is my friend I love that little pocket right there so I'm going to put my health insurance cards back in there so again the wind wallet has this extra little pocket here whereas the Louis Vuitton does not um, you do have your gold hardware snap here and then no words here and then for coach you have your gold hardware and you have the word coach here coach does not have any words on the wallet down here or in this area whereas the Victorine does does have the stamp here it says Louis Vuitton and mine is made in uh, France and then of course both of them have the actual cash compartment now this cash compartment is a little longer I will say that this one not only goes the length oops sorry guys not only goes the length of this area but it goes all the way over here like all the way into the fold of this envelope this whole area can hold cash so I've put cash in here along with extra cards that didn't fit in here along with coupons along with gift cards I've put a lot in here and coins and made her pregnant as all get out um, so she definitely can hold quite a bit the win also can hold quite a bit, but her cash compartment just holds your cash. It's just the length of these two sections here. It does not go into the envelope fold here, which does not bother me one bit. As a matter of fact, this one, when I do put stuff in there, it does feel kind of weird because the cash doesn't necessarily stay kind of in that one spot. It does seem to slide itself over, which can be, you know, annoying to some or unbothersome to others, but it does irk me a little bit. So I love how this one just keeps it right in the area where it should be you can hold plenty of cash in here I did yesterday when I got sinking funds um, I've used this wallet quite a few times honestly probably more times than I've used this one um, I have nowhere I have no pop stitching I have no glazing popping I have nothing just you know a little bit of you know indents from cards and if you have a problem with that baby you probably shouldn't even be carrying a wallet because it's gonna happen no matter where i love the smooth leather on the inside of this wallet um again i just i love the smaller footprint of this one but these are both great wallets they both have the same amount of card holders the same amount of cash space um the same amount of coin space this one just has that one extra little um compartment here in the back 
Um, and I guess most important and my favorite part is I love the setup of the wind having that one pocket on the front where you can put your main card or most used card or even your driver's license. If you're, you know, not like me and you don't carry your license inside of your um, key holder or you don't do a key holder, let's say you do, you know, the um, normal keychain or ball of keys or what have you, you may need to put, you know, your license in your wallet, which most people keep their license in their wallet. I might be the only weirdo that does it. I don't know. Y'all comment down below and let me know. But I love mine with my keys because if I just want to grab this and go, I can. I can even just grab my main card stick it in here with my license and i'm out the door i don't have to take a whole purse at all if i'm really just going to do something really fast do i do that often no because your girl is addicted to a purse like i don't care if i don't even need it i'm gonna take it that's just me but there have been times that i'm like shit how did i forget to get the meatloaf seasoning and i'll have to run to Publix real quick I won't take my whole purse for that. I already got rice on the stove. I already got vegetables on the stove. I already got the meat mixture going. I don't even think about grabbing my whole purse in those instances. I'll be honest. I don't. I grab my card. I throw it in my keys and I go out the door, go get the meatloaf seasoning and come right back. And Publix is like walking distance to the house. Would I walk? Hell nah. But you could. It's that close. But anyway... So yeah, so that's the main difference is you've got that extra card, the extra card slot in the front, which would mean that this one actually can hold, you know, seven cards if it's single or, you know, what is that? 12. So 13 if it's double plus the ones that you can fit behind here as well as in there. This one, same thing. You don't have the one on the front. You don't have the extra spot back here, but you do still have the openings here as well as the card slots here. And like I said, I've actually put cards, like a stack of cards back in the cash section with cash, with coupons, with gift cards, with other things. So both wallets are really great. Again, I will put the measurements on the screen. Um, I would assume they are both the same um, as far as the width when they are flat. Um, I don't know. I think the LV might have it in height too. Possibly. I'm on a bed. Maybe my phone. Let's see. Yeah, I think the LV is going to be taller. Again, I'm going to have the dimensions on the screen. I'll probably put them on the screen and leave them up the whole time. We'll see. I don't know. Um, but it looks like the LV is a little bit taller than the win as well, um, in addition to being a little bit longer. So let me see if I can try and get them perfect. I know I like when people show it like this in their videos. So you got a little bit of extra space there. I would say it's probably about a half an inch longer. So not a whole lot. They're both very small and compact. Like I said, that's why I love this wallet because it's compact. But then I found out about the Win wallet when I purchased the Sutton bag. Um, and she bang. I have four of her. I have one that has black right here and then the signature canvas. I have the faded blue one I showed you guys. And then I have the, was it true pink? Flower pink? Somebody's pink that I got from Coach Retail Boutique. This one is also, these are, this is a Coach Retail Boutique wallet, but I did get mine pre-loved on Macari shortly after I purchased the Sutton bag. Y'all know a girl needs a matching wallet, so I had to go find her. So yeah, this is my little comparison video. So since I was feeling chatty, I figured I would go ahead and get this filmed and out the way for you guys. So again, the measurements will be on the screen. These are both great wallets. I do highly recommend both wallets, especially if you are into Louis Vuitton, you're okay with their prices, you can afford their prices and still pay the light bill and ain't nobody starving. Buy what you want, sis. Fuck what these other hoes got to say. Um, if you choose to get yours in the if you know you know version, that works too. Um, again, my only complaint that I have, and I don't have any wear and tear on my right now, but of course I am worried that in the future there will be a glazing issue because the glazing is very thin. Um, you do have to open and close it often when you're using it, and the glazing is not as thick as on some of your coach pieces. And not just this wallet, like all of my coach pieces, the glazing is a lot thicker than on any of my Louis Vuitton pieces, but I do highly recommend both. Um, if you like the card slot in the front or if you prefer your zipper spot on the outside, I would say go with the win. Or if you want to be able to put it in smaller bags, if you've seen my faded blue coach Cassie video, you saw that I put this in that bag. So if you carry smaller crossbodies or smaller bags, this wallet is so bomb. While we were in New Mexico, I did take my chalk Coach Cassie 19 and I used this wallet. I just turned it on the side, put it in there, put all my other stuff in there and I was good to go. Um, I haven't tried to see if this one will fit in there. I know it'll fit like this. I do not think it'll stand up like this and fit easily. Um, but if you need it to in a pinch, I'm sure you could put it in there like this and still have enough space to get your goodies for just the day. Um, so these are both great wallets. Definitely buy what's best for you. If you're like me, pick up both. <laughs> 
So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. And if you're on the fence about these two wallets, I hope that that was helpful. Um, I'm sure there are tons of other videos here on what I like to call YouTube University for you to kind of do your research and see what works best for you. But if I do have to pick, I absolutely prefer the win over the Victorine. Um, however, I will never sell my Victorines. I do not regret purchasing them. I love them. I have four of them. I have the DE, the DA, the Mono, and the Empreinte. And then I have four win wallets as of now. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one. Bye.